Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome to yet another Happy Snapper Feature for video. This time we're down on the south coast of England, uh, by uh, Southampton area, at a place called Exbury House and Exbury Garden. This place was bought in 1919 by Lionel Murphy and Rothschild of the banking family um, and is all redeveloped, garden remade and all the rest of it all done. Yeah, they can afford it. Um, but then eventually in 2009, uh, this son Edmund Leopold de Rothschild took over. Now this guy is a, I found him a very approachable guy um, when I bumped into him. Um, he is, has nothing at all to do with the banking side. He just likes to play with the garden and in the house. Good for him. Um, it is a wonderful set of gardens. Obviously, the house is not approachable for your normal human being, being as they still live there. But the gardens are there. We have a very interesting little narrow gauge steam railway going down one half, and they have a little golf buggy um, tourist. Going around the other half. So, this video is a video in two parts, really. Going around on the steam chuff chuff and then going around in the uh, soft car with the driver chatting away quite nicely. Thank you very much, and I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. 
And the grains were started a hundred years ago. Have you been reading the notices? Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, the gardens were started a hundred years ago. Mr. Lloyd was not charged. He had 150 men. It took them 10 years to construct the gardens. Because all the roads, this, all this was, uh, was, was part of the new forest area. Oliver Cromwell's hunting yeah. roads, if you like. Well. What we're doing, I'm going into the southern gardens, just to say, first, um, and the south and the north, basically, is um, separated by a road, which is underneath the bridge. Uh -huh. So Lionel Rothschild, in, who built the gardens up with his men, he built the bridge over the road, and he called it Lionel's Folly. The road on the right takes us down to the Bewley River, where the family have got the road behind the jetty, and on the left it um, takes you into Exbury Village two trees inside the bridge. Lionel planted them there, the beech trees. He called them the guardian trees yeah. that guard the bridge. Yes, he really lived near his main place at Waddeston. Waddeston Manor? Yeah. Yeah. That's owned by the Rothschild. It's yeah. now run by the National Trust. That's right. And as you'll see, the, the thieving the, bastards. Yeah, yeah, the Aces, the Palmetos now, yeah. beginning to show the the orange <laughs> one. You can see it beginning to show in the autumn. It is bright orange. Yeah. But there's a little fir tree there they, they're from South Korea. The South Korean forest got delicate little cones on it. The Weeping Beach. We've got several roads. The Weeping Beach. Come the Halloween time, you don't sh swear at them because they shake their branches. <laughs> the tree we let the kids climb. The Devil's Walking Stick. Can you see the thorns up the side of it? Uh huh. No, that one there. So you just <coughs> see the thorns yeah. up there. This one here. Yeah. Yeah. I think we must be the only people in the grounds at the moment. We have been quite busy. That's the, that's the, um, the Irish garden. They've opened that up last year. They've dug a lot of the old... It's coming on lovely, isn't it? Really nice. That is fresh water. There's a spring there. And there's all the... Uh, that's the history tree. Shows the history of the family over the last hundred years. Mm -hmm. All the dogs, all the pet dogs the family owned were buried up there, the dogs graves, mainly Labradors. Prince Philip planted that at Copper Beach a few years ago.
what they call Lover's Lane. Down there, it's the, the alongside the river. There's um, there's a house which the Wren officers had, 1942. And it's uh, you're recording this. Yeah. Well, down to you. But I'm making it up so I go along. That's all right. <laughs> I'm only joking. There's a house down there which the Wren officers had, yeah. and they used to come up here and meet the male officers in the house, which was. Um, Requisition, 1942, mm. so, um, what's they call it, a, uh, a stone frigate, HMS Master. Mm -hmm. And the wrens used to come up here and meet the males, the men officers, and the sleeve tree is the, is the uh, foxglove tree. There's one there as well, flowers before the actual leaf comes on it. It's called Polonia, Polonia tomnantosus. There's the bitter oranges, now you can see them turning now. In North America, uh, the the Roman emperors used to use the parts of that for a headdress. And also the leaf used to go towards making OD cologne. Paper bar cases, you see the attractive mark on them, especially with the light on it. Yeah. And there's the ginkgo, the ginkgo biloba. You get the tablets for the memory from the, it's Chinese medicine. Uh -huh. The tablets for the memory, the nervous system. Need them. You need them, yeah. <laughs> I take a bucket full every day. <laughs> The tea gardens. I don't know whether it's open at all today or whether it's um, it's um, used to be tennis courts in there. It's a little kiosk in there. They sell tea and coffee. <laughs> I don't think it's open today though. Tour driver. <laughs> On the right hand side is the, uh, they just cut this, this was the daffodil meadow. But they left it, they left it this year because there was a lot of wildflowers in there. They really just cut it because it's, it's all to do with conservation preservation. The Beauty River, a privately owned by Lord Montier. It's the only privately owned river in the country and of course the other side is Buckler's Hard where they make some of Nelson's warships. Have you been to Buckler's Hard? Not yet. Have weddings at the Rolls. Um, this was um, one of the spots where uh, after the service in Newly went to start getting photographs to be taken. As you see, you see there's some lovely walks through there, stretching down along the long river edge. And now we're beginning to see the autumn colours. That's a Katoni Aster. Really. Oh, 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 yeah. Yeah. The monkey puzzle tree, you let the kids climb this one. You let the kids climb this? Yeah. yeah. It's uh, what they call the yeah. Chilean monkey puzzle tree. It's a native of Chile in South America. It's, um, it's the national plant, I should say, of Chile. Are you staying in the area? Did you travel down today then? No, we're staying over in. Um, oh, on the birds. In the Haven bloody caravan place. I was supposed to be here last week. Oh yeah. But I cocked up the dates. This is the small pond here, they call it the Azalea Bowl. Because in the autumn, uh, I mean, you get the dogwoods. The American dogwood, the Asian dogwood, the Asian dogwood is a, a national plant of British Columbia. There's so much here. Of course, then you've got the aces, the palmatums. And over there, there's a, a palm tree. Can you see it? The palm yeah. Yeah. It's 100 years old. It's called Trachycarpus, Trachycarpus fortunia. There's not many palms you can grow in, the, in this country. Um, yeah. With success, but that was a hundred years ago uh, old, and it's planted by Mr. Lionel's grandmother. This is another view of the Beauty River. With the giant rhubarb or the gunnera. The 
this is one of three ponds we've got. This is the smallest pond. Of course, the, 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 this is the stone boys and this is the Zalia Bowl. <sighs> until a couple of years, a few years ago with a queen shoot when they had piles. This is the viewpoint. This is the most southerly point of the garden. Uh -huh. When we get down there, you, you'll see it's a high water at the moment. And over on the far left-hand side, if you look, you just about see the, the, the Isle of Wight. On the other side of the river is the Royal Sound to the Opera. It was blowing a hoolie down here just now and it still is by the looks of it. I think the tide's just about easing off a bit now. Yeah. Yeah, it does, yeah. It's, uh, it's almost on this pathway. She came a few times in May because she got yeah. to drive the train. Yeah, did, did you go on the train today? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And some of these more deep ones, they're called Fortune. These are some of the Queen's favourites. is up to the back of the house, Exbury House. <laughs> a lot of people call it the back, or the, well, some people call it the front. It overlooks the, the farmlands. Um, it's a lo lovely view of the, the farmlands. There's no hedge or fence to stop the cattle coming in. There's a, a ditch all the way around it called the Ha Ha Ditch. Mm. This is Diana, God rest her soul, 1983. May the 16th, she came with the Queen Mother and planted that tree and the Queen Mother was with her at the time planted that one. Which presumably is why they're not straight. Piss out of the mouth. 20, 22 years ago, or 23 years ago, when she got, she's been in the news recently, or her son was. Uh, in Angola, weren't they, for the clearance of the mines? Yeah. It was 20, I think it was 22 or 23 years ago that she got, she got killed in an accident. tennis courts there and then we're going up around towards the house. Magnolias? Yes, magnolias. They're always the first ones to come out in the spring and what happens as soon as you get the flower on the magnolias, 
you get the frost and the wind and trouble. Trouble. But we've got one here flowering for the second time now. The black tulip magnolia, can you see it? Mm. It's in the spring, it is beautiful, it's one mass. We call it the black tulip. Mm. It's all that basically we're talking about climate change now, aren't we? Now we're coming up to the herbaceous gardens. Most of these gardens, the, the herbaceous gardens, run by the uh, volunteer gardeners, which we've got, probably 20 of them. We've got eight full-time gardeners. We've got the gallery open, we have a stop off here for a few minutes, let you have a look at the, the dureens, the macanalias, what they call the cake plants. Emma's the lady in charge up here, she runs it. Very, very knowledgeable. The neck. Now you see, we're going into the part of the North area, the North Gardens, which they call the Jubilee area, named after King George V and Queen Mary. It's 1935, celebrated their Silver Jubilee. See the axis, they've just started the autumn colours. Let's be honest with it, I always think that what we really want is a damn good frost. Let's get this. let's get winter coming on. As soon as we get the frost, we get the real colours of the trees, we get the sap from the trees go down to the roots. Everybody wants to go to sleep. And you kill the bugs. Kill the bugs. Get rid of the black spot. There's a New Zealand cabbage plant, a palm, you see it makes a of a mess when it's finished flowering. Now we're beginning to see the, the colouring them. Pond down there, Jubilee Pond. There's no fish in that one. Apparently, last year was the year before there was a couple of uh, otters here. Yeah. You see the boreholes, you see the uh, concrete plants. This is where we get the water from. This is where they extract the water because we got 20 miles of underground piping because we got our own water supplies with boreholes, freshwater springs. And we got pumps that pump the water around. Because rhododendrons in particular need a lot of water. Yeah. Bamboo, you can see a lot of that. If you're going to grow one, grow it in a big pot. And grow the black bamboo. Wisteria, there's a wisteria here. Yeah. Up here, hot. And it's being held up with a yew tree. Can you see it there, look? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. from the bark of the willow. Mm.
lot, folks. That's about it. Lovely, thank you. Well, that's it, folks. That's the end of this little one. Hope you enjoyed it. Anyway, if you've enjoyed it, maybe you'll consider subscribing to this channel. Maybe even have a look at the website, Happy Sapper. Well, there's lots and lots of things going way back into the late 90s. So enjoy yourself.